Hi everyone, I'm George Salazar, and today I'm going to be talking about a uh, performance of mine from a Iconis and Family concert uh, at 54 Below, uh, shot by Famous in New York. Uh, this is the Song of the Brown Buffalo. So I um, had been developing with Joe Iconis uh, and Jason Sweet Tooth Williams and Warren Marcus, uh, had been developing this Hunter S. Thompson musical with Joe and uh, spent um, probably the last like five years with this in my life. And, uh, you know, uh, it seemed like every pre-Broadway for Be More Chill, every Iconis and Family performance I did, I sang Michael in the Bathroom. And so once the show made it to Broadway, uh, I had, I, I had a, it was an opportunity to sing a different song at these Iconis concerts. And so this was our first time performing the song in the Brown Buffalo with a full band um, backing me up. And uh, it was pretty thrilling. I'll, I remember that for sure. Um, it was, uh, it, this was a performance from April or May of 2019. Let's, uh, let's hit play. Here we go. Uh, might I ask? Yeah. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> hey, white, white man. man. Do you know so, what I am? Do you hear that, that I'm woodwind? By way of Mexico. I'm an attorney. So that was a brilliant uh, idea from Josh Plotner, who is was a member of our Be More Chill band. Um, Josh found this instrument called the Kena, and it's um, it's this like indigenous flute. He bought one on the internet. He learned how to play it, um, and then he brought it to rehearsal and was like, "Do you want me to kind of do some flourishes during the opening?" And it adds like a really great kind of uh, cultural vibe to this song. Oscar Zeta Acosta, the character that I play here, is a, was a civil rights attorney, 300 pounds, big, gigantic drug addict, civil rights attorney. He would um, uh, he'd be followed around by his bodyguards who, were, who would carry like hammers, uh, chains, I mean, you know, unconventional weapons. Um, and this song is so rooted in 60s rock that I, I, I felt like it was important. I'm not 300 pounds yet. I may be by the end of quarantine, but, um, but it was important to me to physically take the stage and, and be as big and brash as possible. And so, um, and so showmanship wise, I think I pull a lot of like, um, there's a lot of Mick Jagger. You know what Mick Jagger likes stepping, stomping. Um, why, yeah, 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 it is one of my favorite things to sing. It's very easy to sing those notes with that vowel. Very, very grateful to Joy Connors. Uh, it was, it's such a uh, relief to get to play someone who's like wide-eyed and crazy and insane and a loose cannon instead of like wide-eyed and innocent and young. Um, he really was like a ticking time bomb. Oscar Zeta Costa disappeared. Uh, it's rumored that he's gotten through a huge fight with drug dealers in a boat off the coast of Florida and uh, was thrown overboard and drowned. Um, he offers a lot of comedic relief in the in the show and overall context. This is m m my favorite part of the song. It's this kind of call and response, um, and it reuses a theme, musical theme that Joe establishes very early on in the Hunter Thompson musical. So it's this perfect kind of melding of the two worlds, right? Of Hunter Thompson, this like white journalist, and Oscar Zeta Acosta, this. I mean, really kind of anti-white Chicano civil rights attorney. You know what I am. You're the brown buffalo. <laughs> See, now you know. I want to show you the rock star moment. Um, yeah, when we go into production for this, I don't know, um, I don't know if they'll put me in a, in a fat suit. I, I kind of hope they do. Unless, of course, I gain all the weight and become over 300 pounds during quarantine, uh, which uh, is shockingly easy, I feel like. Um, 
and quite the commitment to the craft. But um, but uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. You know, it's it was important to me, like I said earlier, that to, to, to make this character as like showy and big as possible. This this song in the in the span of the musical is kind of an explosive um, entrance for for uh, for a supporting character. And um, it's quite the explosion. The band sounds amazing. Joy Connors is my favorite songwriter, composer, human in in the world. Um, I hope you're all staying super safe and keeping sane. Uh, however, however you find is best to do that. Um, take care of yourself and each other. And uh, thanks for watching.